In conversations, we are hearing hearsay that members of families are COVID positive, but an individual in the school community is still present at school. At a Chatham school board meeting this week, Betsy Yates Long and Laura Noonan, co-presidents of the Chatham Education Association, described how some students are putting educators and staff at risk. Social events that include more households than is reasonable are occurring on weekends and being posted on social media. We have to remain united to come out of this stronger together. They have worked in partnership with our school district and with me personally, literally since June. Um, including touring the buildings in the summer. The only reason that we have been able to be open for all of our elementary students every day in person uh, is because of their efforts. Uh, so yes, their concerns, of course, are valid. Superintendent of Schools Dr. Michael Lasusa says he supports the women's concerns. Why? Because since the holiday weekend, Chatham High School was forced to go remote after seven reported cases. Since then, five more. For the past week, we have a total of 18 new in-school outbreaks that have been confirmed with a total of 103 subsequent new cases or individuals um, of coronavirus infection. These 103 new cases came during a week in which, by the way, we, we take every single one of these cases deadly seriously, but in that same week we reported more than 34,500 positive PCR tests. As cases across the state continue to spike, districts like Chatham are seeing a spike in reported cases by older students. Our greatest number of positive cases uh, have occurred at the high school, and our lowest number of positive cases have occurred at the uh, lower elementary levels. So we have um, parents and students and staff complete on a daily basis a health screening form. We have uh, desk shields or barriers on every desk in the district. We purchased um, about 4,000 of those before the year began. And of course, we have mass compliance to 100%. In addition to all of these safety measures in school, Dr. Lasusa says it's the precautions outside of school that staff, students, and parents need to take to continue to keep everyone safe and healthy. It's always worth underscoring that um, we all know that fortunately uh, children and students don't appear to be at significant risk of severe COVID illness, but our staff and our teachers and all of the folks who make the schools run uh, they may be at higher risk of severe illness. Board of Education President Joe Critchley Weber was not available for an interview, but released a statement saying, our goal is to provide as much in-person learning to our students as possible. This is only realistic if everyone does their part and we all follow the guidelines. The school district can only be successful if everyone is rowing in the same direction. Dr. Lasusa says in-person learning will continue at Chatham High School on December 16th. He admits while there have been a small number of cases where students have not followed safety precautions, he says for the most part, an overwhelming amount have. We've made it to December. We want to keep going, and our ability to keep going really is dependent upon all of us and not putting our staff at risk of contracting illness. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.